on this king cutter bush hog there were a lot of cracks that had been welded over that i had to redo had to re-weld the flange where the gearbox bolts to was warped it had to be straightened too Now it has been straightened and painted, ready to bolt the gearbox back down. This wheel flange had to be straightened and a bushing made for the axle for the wheel. This Farm Force Category 1 Quick Hitch worked with this box blade just fine without modification. Really close fit, but it does work. This is a king cutter, six foot bush hog. I had to take my torch and enlarge these holes so I could get a socket on the nut to take the blades off. These blades are fairly heavy. I would guess that they weigh 10 or 12 pounds a piece. They needed to be sharpened. You can see the big bolt in the upper left and a pencil shows you the size of these blades in comparison. At some time these blades have been hitting against this bush hog. There's a grease fitting right in the center of this dry shaft universal joint. It is so much easier to work on something like this with the right equipment. Putting it up on stands makes it a lot easier to work on. The hub that holds the blades was loose on this output shaft and had done some minor damage to the shaft itself. The splines inside the hub were worn to some degree too, but still usable. The stump jumper hub and drive plate on the left and the gearbox on the right. There are two identical ball bearings inside this gearbox. This is the input shaft and gear. I had a heck of a time getting that output shaft out. I had to use a porter power and a pulley puller combined to get it out. This is the output shaft. I finally got it out. There's a spacer between the two bearings. I use this slide hammer to help remove the bearings. It's great to have one. This is my 20 ton press that I built. Doing bearing work you really just can't do without it. I filled this rebuilt gearbox with 90 weight and bolted it back down to the bush hog. When using a quick hitch with the bush hog, the bush hog must be allowed to tilt. I made this yoke and stop assembly so the bush hog could be allowed to tilt and not break anything. This photo I made shows the stop installed. And this photo shows the upper yoke I made. I like to put chains on all the pins so they don't get lost. The upper U-shaped piece is welded to the yoke that came with the quick hitch. The spring you see here is necessary to keep the whole quick hitch from tilting while you're hooking up. Now I'm going to modify this dirt shovel to work with the quick hitch. This area will have to be cut away, so make your measurements very carefully.
This enables the hooks on the quick hitch to clear. After cutting away for clearance clearance, it must be reinforced. You must cut for clearance around the top hook as well. The bottom pins on this shell are going to work just fine. This also has to be reinforced where it was cut away. I did these modifications free of charge for my X and I could have done a much better job if I'd have had a plasma cutter and a good heavy duty wire welder. I did the best I could. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it has been some use to you.